Well, hello there. It's so good to see you all once again. Here for another tale from the Drift Garage, I reckon? On the last episode, we saw... But there's still much work to be done. Let's get to it, shall we? All right, these two 40s come as a one wheel peeler, so we're gonna drop this diff, open up and weld it so we got both wheels spinning together because that is the most important part about a drift car. That's right, Sea Dog. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, T <-Dog. laughs> We're getting ready to throw this seat in the car. Forsberg and I run Recaro seats in our missile cars as well as all our competition Formula D cars. Especially our missile cars though because we like to thrash crap out of those things. Yeah, if there's one thing we don't skimp on, it's safety. <laughs> all right, seat's good. We're gonna move on to the harnesses. Just like the seats, quality safety equipment is extremely important to have. I use Takata harnesses on everything I have. That's all I use. <laughs> These Takata kind of harnesses are sweet because they come with everything you need so they're not a pain in the ass to install. They go right in the factory location. Hey Chris, you have that 8mm washer? I'm on it. Got the washer, man. I already got one, dude. All right, we just got the downpipe fitted up. We're gonna put on the dyno, see how much horsepower we get. Tip. If you got some wide wheels or just some stubborn tires, can't get them to mount up, a little brake clean and a lighter will take care of it. <laughs> so, next thing on the list get rid of this old blown piece of shit suspension and get this awesome adjustable setup. I got these coilovers from K-Sport. They offer these entry level setups all the way to full race applications so that when you're throwing that car side to side on the track, it really helps keep it set. Pro tip. Zip ties are a drifter's best friend. You can make just about any repair you need at the track. All right, well that about wraps it up. We got the diff welded, we got the seat in the car, we got the suspension on, and we even got a turbo kit installed and tuned. All right, this missile car is ready to shred. Hell yeah. It's been a lot of fun, but it's been a lot of hard work. Yeah, it's been a whole lot of work. I wish I could shred this thing what you do, but I'm gonna get the f out of here. It's all good, I'll take it from here. <laughs>
I'm bailing! Well, friends, the big day is finally here. The car is prepped, tuned, and ready for its maiden voyage. It's finally time to see what this drifting hubbub is all about. All right, guys, we lost Turk, but I got Brian from MA Motorsports out here at Summit Point Motorsports Park. We brought this turret out and see what it can do. It's not 100% yet, but we want to give it a little shakedown before we get it all ready to go. All right, man, moment of truth. We got it on the dyno, but it's all about what it can do on the track, so let's see. You don't gotta spin. Oh, oh, oh! Yeah! Hell yeah! That thing rips! See, you don't even need a whole car to have fun. Did you see that thing go by? I think we're at like 82%. Another headlight will put us at 85. Dude, this thing is awesome, right? It is awesome! <laughs> I didn't even spin out! It was great! I know, right? This thing's got just whatever tires we can find, and we didn't even get the front end back on, but yeah. Yep. You gotta take it out anyway, you know? Yeah, just right. rip it, make sure all the wheels stay on, the turbo runs, but it's a blast. It does the job, though. Right. Yeah. It's right. fun. Get going. When Brian comes back, we're gonna get him. He do not even know it's coming. You spun out less than I did. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. Build a totally functional $5,000 missile car. This thing is a blast. Love driving it. Gets the job done, gets you out on the track, having fun with your buddies. Next things we want to do is, you know, button it up a little bit, get a front end back on there, and we're also going to do one or two more little performance moves to uh, get a little more steering angle and a little more control without these uh, old drive rotted tires. See you next time. <laughs> Huzzah! The boys have done it! Another successful drift build ready for the smashing! Please join us on the next installment of Drift Garage where we upgrade this drift turd with some performance goodies and even a paint job. Stay sideways, my friends. <laughs>